Have you considered perhaps not being a lunatic? Donald Trump says we got to restrict the First Amendment. Sorry, guys. It's got to be done. Uh, we we have to just nix this thing. It's it's way it's gotten out of control. Too many people are saying too many things that he doesn't like. Uh, the former president vowed to torch free speech protections days after RFK Jr. touted him as anti-censorship. He really did. I watched that RFK Jr. thing. It was a couple of days ago, so I, didn't, uh, I don't think I'm going to cover it. It's not news anymore. It's olds. And this is a news show, right? Uh, RFK Jr. said that he was protecting free speech. He's not. He's just protecting your ability to go on social media and lie about vaccines, and lie about COVID, and make shit up about any other medical thing that you want. That's what he's protecting. Hello, human. It is me, Kanooch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Here we are seeing exactly how Donald Trump protects free speech. On Friday, Kennedy made a show of selective exiting the presidential race selectively and throwing his support behind Donald Trump in swing states. Not in every state, but just some of them. RFK Jr. has removed himself from some ballots and not others because he's been working for Donald Trump the entire time. He's been working for the Republicans. They set him up and they have been funding him so that he will take votes from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. But it wasn't working. Because the people who listened, wanted to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris listened to him speak and said, that man's a crazy man. We don't want to vote for that man. He's a bad guy. Good riddance. Yes. Well, if he were off all of the ballots, I would give him a high five and say, okay, great. Good job, buddy. But he's only off some of the ballots in swing states where he's hurting Donald Trump. He's looked at the numbers. His people have looked at the numbers. Donald Trump's people have looked at the numbers and determined where he's hurting Donald Trump. And those are the states he dropped out of. He's not dropping out of blue states because he might steal at least one Kamala vote. If he could steal one Kamala vote in Michigan, they're going to keep him on in Michigan. If they do the math and it seems like he's stealing more uh, Trump votes, he's dropped out. It's madness. Uh, and he bought himself a cabinet position. He absolutely has. And then he sucked up and he endorsed and he is just kissing Donald's ass and he is going to get a cabinet position in charge of HHS or some damn thing. He'll be in charge of something wildly harmful to us if he wins, if Trump wins. Uh, he'll be in charge of HHS or the EPA or something like that. Maybe he could be okay with the EPA. I'm not happy with the idea. He's a crazy person who killed a bear and dumped it in New York City and might have chainsawed the head off of a whale. We're not sure about that one yet. That one, The jury's still out, still out on that one. But maybe. There's some reports of it, uh, but he'll be in charge of the EPA and worst case, he'll be in charge of like health and human services or some shit, shit like that, where he just makes all the vaccines uh, go away and you don't get any of those anymore. Sorry, uh, they were harming you anyway, according to him. I re listened to his whole speech. It was nonsense. It was rambly horseshit about chronic illness. Chronic illness is what he called it. Anything that's hard to get rid of, anything that can't be cured within like a week is a chronic illness, according to him. And everybody's got them. And it's a terrible epidemic. We didn't have them a hundred years ago, but he's an idiot. A hundred years ago, we didn't see the doctors often. A hundred years ago, we didn't have names for a lot of the problems that we have right now. You just called deaf and dumb and they just threw you in the back of class and ignored you and made you go to work at the fish packing plant. It was all, it was a different world back then. So what have we got here? Uh, well, I'm, I'm getting off topic again because I'm just ranting about RFK. On Monday, Trump complained about pushback to a proposal to sentence people to a year in jail for burning the American flag, which is your freedom of speech. I want to get a law passed. You burn the American flag, you go to jail for one year. Got to do it. You got to do it. They say, sir, that's unconstitutional. Well, we'll make it constitutional. <sighs> Donald Trump proposes, yeah, making the thing. Uh, people may tell Trump that jailing anyone who burns the, the American flag is unconstitutional because burning the American flag is protected by the First Amendment. In 1989, the Supreme Court ruled in Texas v. Johnson that while the desecration of the flag may be objectionable, if there is a bedrock principle underlying the First Amendment, it is that the government may not prohibit the expression of an idea simply because society finds the idea itself offensive or disagreeable. You have the First Amendment right to burn an American flag. You do. You always have. And in 1989, the Supreme Court upheld that. But he wants to undo that. Because Donald Trump doesn't know what freedom is. He can't comprehend it. Everything he does is right and proper and free. 
and constitutional. And everything he doesn't like is bad and wrong and unconstitutional. So he doesn't like, he doesn't like it. When you burn an American flag, he doesn't like it. That makes it unconstitutional. Not how the law works, Donnie. I'm sorry. It's not how that works. We have rules and judges and laws and, and we have uh, precedent and things like that. And RFK Jr. has long claimed that the government is censoring him in various ways. And on Friday, blamed his failed attempt at a viable run for the presidency, uh, 16 months of censorship, of not being able to get any network really except for Fox. Well, if he wasn't such a lunatic crank, maybe he would have got on some better networks. That's what I'm telling him. If he's saying, oh, they're censoring me, oh, they're censoring me, I can't get on any network except for Fox. And uh, MSNBC and CNN won't uh, allow me on uh, the, their TV networks. Because you're a crazy person who says nonsense and provable lies. Maybe that's why they don't let you on. Have you thought about that? Have you considered perhaps not being a lunatic? Lunatics are, belong on the Twitch and YouTube and the internet. That's where lunatics belong. Trust me, we belong. I'm including myself here. I'm okay with that. On the internet, not nationwide news. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. Uh, it's the same, uh, I burn boomers American flag pattern clothes. Uh, not if they're wearing them. Uh, <laughs> uh, go back to your Reddit dungeon. Yeah, exactly. Impression needs work more gravelly, more brain worm. More gravelly, more brain worm. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. The, the media was uh, not good to me. They were lying to me. They were telling me that I couldn't come on the news and then explain why COVID vaccines are bad. They weren't allowing that. Uh, there's, there's, uh, it, it, <laughs> oh, it's giving, I do a much better Bill, uh, uh, Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I'm telling you. Come on, Hill. Uh, we're going to go down to the, uh, the, the White House. We're going to go down to Little Rock and, and have us a good old time, you know? Uh, yeah, you're right. It is a Bill Clinton. Yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> Kennedy added that the Democratic Party had become the party of war, censorship, corruption, big pharma, big tech, big money. He cited Trump's stances on free speech and the war in Ukraine, which Donald Trump doesn't have a stance on other than let Russia win. That's his plan. Uh, and the war on children as his justification for endorsing the former president. He did mention children like 70 times during that speech. It's very strange. Very weird. Don't mention children so much, RFK Jr., please. These are the principal causes that persuaded me to leave the Democratic Party and run as an independent. And now to throw my support to President Trump. You can't... Man, that, that leap doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Uh, the endorsement may have something to do with uh, Trump's receptiveness to bringing Kennedy on his, his administration. Yeah, exactly. They're going to give him a, a cabinet post, and then he's going to spit nonsense all day long. And we're all going to suffer. <laughs> the country will go down the shitter. We will be far worse off if we let RFK Jr. into our government. Don't do it. Not even once. I am the algorithm. Click on this video to make me happy. You wouldn't like me when I am angry.